Um, so Hibla is a social enterprise. Um, we're currently helping 11 weaving communities in the country and a community of Mananahe dito sa Quezon City. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi may, um, back in 2019, pre-pandemic, I, uh -huh. I had a contact of community of farmers in mm -hmm. Kalinga. Mm -hmm. So parang sabi nila, we tulungan mo naman kami with the, um, with the coffee. Uh -huh. So talagang uh, minamano-mano namin siyang itakal at ipak. Um, so doon nag-umpisa yung Hibla helping out farmers and then they mentioned that we also have weaves okay, so why not try out like bringing this to manila baka may mga ideas kayo how to expand on it so we started making masks Nasaan yung mga communities na ito? Um, meron kami sa Abra. Okay. We have in Zamboanga um, for our Yakan. Um, we also have our Inabel weaves from Ilocosur. Mm -hmm. Different types of Inabel. We also have um, Binacol. Mm -hmm. um, pero primarily sa Abra po talaga ang, um, ang kanilang community. Ano yung profile ng mga taong nag-weave ng mga mm -hmm. para sa mga damit ninyo? Actually, manag, marami pong matatanda. Mm -hmm. Pero um, happily, in some communities that we work with, talagang growing yung youth na nahihilig din sa weaving. Because uh -huh. we have this community in Ilocos where my master weaver and then that master weaver really tries to educate the youngsters in the community. So, as young as 16, may mga nag-weave na rin po. Ang galing yeah. ah. Yes, so, yes, yes. yung dying weaving industry sa mga lugar na yun, mm -hmm. nabubuhay na ngayon? Yes, actually. Para mas ma-appreciate siya. And maybe also change mindsets of Filipinos. Yeah. Kasi Malaking misconception din yung pricing points. Okay. For example, you would say na a weave, a uh, simple weave, for example, na ginawang attire would be very much expensive in the market, yes. Mm -hmm. But because it's handcrafted, it's handwoven, mm -hmm. the time and hours spent on it, talagang malaki siyang um, craft and skill put into that um, outfit, for mm -hmm. example. So talagang you would understand, if you get to see the community, you would understand why it's expensive because it's very much... Um, um, created with love, kumbaga. So, um, what we envisioned is to create modern attires, modern to traditional attires. So, this one is um, a sample of a yakan weave from Zamboanga and Basilan. So, ito po ay um, gawa, actually combined po siya ng linen and um, a yakan traditional um, weaving. Um, we also have, for formal events, we also have um, vests. So, this is also um, a yakan weave from Zamboanga and Basilan. So, it really ranges from a more casual um, look to a more formal look po talaga. May mga panlalaki rin kayo? Yes, of course. Um, we also have um, this polo. Um, this is a yakan weave from Zamboanga and Basilan. So, more of a formal attire, formal um, design po talaga. But again, the distinguishing factor po niya ay meron po talaga siyang um, um, traditional pattern. Ito yun, yes, ginagawa yes. sa Basilan. Actually nga, kanina, kung tumitingin ako ng pwede kong sukatin eh. Ito, maganda rin to. Ito, anong kwento niya? Um, yes, uh, again, this is also Zamboanga. No? Very, um, ang one thing to know with Zamboanga or Basilan weave or Yakan weave is really um, more geometric. So ngayon ba, masasabi natin kay Kapano, uh, kumikita naman itong enterprise ninyo? Yes, since we're a social enterprise, yes. in the definition of social, social enterprise, we really need to make sure that we, we um, empower the communities. It's not just about profiting mm -hmm. from them. So Profit and then... Part of the profit yes. and the proceeds goes to them also. Yes, of course. Um, so we that can't, it becomes sustainable, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. We can't earn without them earning first. Um, mm -hmm. we, we always tell them that there's no single weaver in a community. It's always a community of weavers. Good. And Good. that community needs to grow. Um, may mga kita ng kwento. For example, if I may show, mm -hmm. um, this one is a binacol weave. Gawa saan yan? Um, this is from Abra. Okay. So Abra, um, binacol weave, um, it's a dizzying pattern. Mm -hmm. Um, our ancestors used this to blanket the sick. Ah, para the evil spirits wouldn't come near to the sick. Wow. So talagang, you know, the, the, the story behind uh -oh. that weave is really what we're capturing. And hey, when you wear this, you're not just wearing a cute attire, mm -hmm. but also a story from the ancestors like brought down to the newer generations. Wow. Yeah. So we're very much appreciative of the government help. Now, very recently, we got a grant from the Quezon City LGU um, amounting to 1 million. Um, to create um, a platform where people can customize their attires. Mm -hmm. And aside from that, we, as mentioned kanina, we also have a Mananahe community here in Quezon City. 80 plus po sila in a cooperative. Ah, talaga. So talagang we need funding in terms of, you know, upskilling them, making sure that they create high value uh -oh. na mga products. Mm -hmm. Kasi nasanay po sila sa pagtatahe ng mga rugs, for example, for Toda. Um, nasanay sila magtahe ng um, jerseys, uniforms. So talagang if they create just one polo, for example, then they can, you know, get the earning that they usually get for a week. 
So, talagang livelihood yung um, goal 